Tjena alla monster tiggare. Sudska. Ja, yeah, today we're gonna take a look at the Suicide, the suicide Squad Harley Quinn from SH Figure Arts. Um, yeah, I got this from Ami Ami. I thought this would be the perfect, perfect Harley Quinn figure. But unfortunately, it doesn't come with any guns that I heard on other reviews. But let's take a look at her. Uh, the back side, side, underside, top side, diagonal side. Yeah, so let's open this figure up and let's see how she looks. So this is my workbench. I'm working everything. Whoops, sorry. Oh. stuff here I have to clean. So let's take a look at Harley Quinn. Oh my god, this is a really good looking figure. Look at that face. Well, I really want the first Harley Quinn Suicide Squad. Uh, Harley Quinn. Because that's, I think that's the best one that's ever been made. So let's take a look at the face sculpted. Well, it doesn't look like Margot. What's her name again? Margot Maggie? Maggie? Peggy? I don't know. Well, this face does not look like her at all. So this could be any anyone. Single jointed. Let's see. There's some nice sculpting here on the leather jacket. Live fast, die clown. The hair is. Oh, come on. So the hair is really good. Should have just more shading on it. Um, you can see the zipper, the small, the detail on this one is really, really good. Let's see the knuckles. Yeah, that's really good up close. Come on, focus, focus. Please focus for me. There. Let's take a look at the belt. Uh, H T. No, it's a Q. It's a Q. I can see there. The stars. Everything. The butt. The legs, the zippers there are sculpted, everything is sculpted. So, let's take a look at the articulation now. Single jointed elbow that bends almost like a f double jointed, really good. Um, she has just a little bit of butterfly, butterfly joint. It's really hard to maneuver that one. Maybe we should remove the jacket and see how it fit, how it works. That's weird. Yeah, so the jacket is hindering the small movement here. Uh, not much of movement here. She reminds me of a statue almost. You don't have... Oh, there you have a little bit... Ah, oh, this is a floating piece here. I think. Forward that much. So, yeah. Whoops, again. Whoops, again. Yeah, so this is a floating piece here. 
I like this uh, kind of figures because you can bend it and twist them and then you don't really have to be afraid that it falls apart. Uh, single jointed knee moves up this much. Uh, the doesn't have so much movement here toy joint but if you well I well I really don't want to destroy that one yeah so the move that was pretty good let's see the accessories comes with a hand and the hands with trigger fingers but you cannot put anything in it because they They glue that finger down the thumb with that index finger or this finger, long finger. So you cannot put any, maybe, we, we can try, we can try. We have a Deadpool's gun here, his revolver. Let's try this out. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work at all. I don't have any other gun. We can try can try Deadpool's guns. No, it's too thick also. No. No. So, I think I have to cut this. And here we have a hand holding a, let's see here, the mallet or the baseball bat if you had one. So, it's really, really strange that it didn't come with anything. Let's make a um, spear or something. Here, we can make a mallet. Here we have the... Where did that hand go? Was it this one? This is another trigger finger. Oh, this is more... This is a little bit more open, but for oh, I think this is for holding her here like this. No, it's not that either. Okay, let's take out the hand that is for holding the baseball bat or mallet. Yeah, I will do something later in the review when I'm comparing her with other figures so well I'm not well, let's say that I'm not 100% satisfied with this figure I love the looks the looks is amazing but um, let's take a look at her second head yeah this maybe looks a little bit more like Margot Robbie. Oh, look at that pin. That's a really long pin. What's that? What's that black spot? Is that the air piece that she's talking to the others with? Yeah, it must be. So she can, you know, hello? Hello, this is smooth speaking. There. Okay, let's go to the comparison with other figures. I have to clean up a little bit around here. Here she is compared to Thing from Marvel Legends and Outback Hulk from Marvel Legends from PS4. He's a little bit too big. Uh, and the Marvel Select Unleashed Hulk head. Here she is compared to a normal sized uh, Marvel Legends Bucky Cap mod, mod, um, model. And there we have um, the Hyperion body mold on Captain Britain. Let's now bring out some other 
uh, foreign uh, internet, what do you call it, from abroad, from um, Japan, Japan companies. And here we have SH Figure Arts Thanos and SH Figure Arts Bootleg and Black Widow from Endgame. And here we have her against my absolute favorite figure. The real deal, Mayfix Spider-Man. Can't wait for the black one. I regret that I didn't buy the Ben Riley one, but and then we have the White Rabbit. I was planning to make White Rabbit into her. So I will, yeah, you understand. I was going to repaint and make White Rabbit into Harley Quinn, but that's that. And now we have two more comparisons. And here we have her against Mayfex. Infinity War Captain America, love that figure, and SH Figure Arts Tony Stark from Iron Man 3. So that's, uh, yeah, I have one more, two more uh, comparisons to make. Um, I, I think she is a perfect size scale wise compared to other companies. And here we have him, her, against Mayfex Hush Batman. I will have a review up on this one soon. And the old SH Figuarts Harley Quinn from Injustice God Among Us, the video game. So, I will have a review on this one soon also. And I'm not going to compare these two against each other. So, and the last but not least. And here we have her against two of my absolute favorite figures. Um, bootleg, Mayfex, Deadpool. And Deadpool, Fox movie. Yeah, so that's that.